Kitchen, Nature Spirits, Injeram Basu. Hmm. Fun. in Malaysia, where we have rich and dense rainforests. I am in this place called Jaram Basu. Most of the time, people come here for team building outdoor activities. Well, the Paranormal Zone is here for outdoor activities. Team building, I'm not sure. But I can tell you one thing, we're going to be here and we're going to be exploring what is out there in nature. Hi, I am here with a gentleman who we lovingly know as Pak Te. He has lived his entire life in Kampong Jeram Basu. He refuses to live in the city and if you look at him, you cannot tell how old he is and you'll understand why. He is 75 years old. Well, the purpose of this interview is to understand the natives' beliefs and understand also nature and also the role that man plays in this big picture. Selamat tengah hari Pak Teh. Selamat hari. Saya faham bahawa uh, bila uh, kita nak masuk tempat uh, nature macam hutan ni, uh, yang mustahak sekali ialah uh, apa yang Pak Teh panggil niat. Ya. Bolehkah Pak Teh jelaskan sikit apa tu niat? Niat kita nak pergi masuk hutan, apa tujuan? Hmm. Sama ada kita tujuan kita ada sesuatu cari barang ke ataupun kita nak buat Barang yang tak baik. Apakah amalan-amalan untuk masuk hutan? Kalau kita nak masuk hutan, umpamanya kita orang baru datang. Mm. Kita tak tahu kita kawasan. Kita tahu itu ada satu hutan saja. Yeah. Selebih baik, kita bertanya dulu pada orang tempatan situ, orang yang lebih arif, lebih tahu dengan mm. hutan itu. Kemudian baru ada dia mengatakan, Mungkin dia bertanya, apa tujuan awak nak pergi masuk hutan sana? Hmm, hmm. Sedangkan sana tak ada apa-apa, hanya hutan biasa saja. Itulah. Tapi kemudian sampai kalau kita hati kita baik sampai dekat hutan tu, kalau kita orang Islam, kita pasal niat, kena kena bagi salam dulu dekat hmm. hutan. Sebab itu, hutan itu adalah makhluk yang dijadikan oleh Tuhan. Hmm. Bukan kita bukan dia dibuat oleh manusia. Correct. Itu kena kena. Kalau bahasa orang Islam, bagi salam dulu. Kalau yang bukan Islam, ikut agama masing-masing lah. Okay, so mesti minta salam minta, dulu. Minta salam. Itu, kita fahaman orang kampung ataupun pendapat orang tua-tua dulu. Mm -hmm. Itu kalau kita orang berluar pada kampung, terus mas, terobok masuk, itu termasuk dianggap orang tu biadab. Tak ada bahasa. Mm. Ha. Tak hormat, tak no hormat. respect kan? Sekurang-kurangnya, dia datang ke kampung tu. Dia cari siapa ya orang tua tua ke orang yang tak yang arif dalam hutan mm -hmm. dia dia tanya boleh tak kita nak masuk kita bukan larang siapa siapa mm -hmm. nak masuk hutan kita siapa orang pun boleh masuk hutan tapi dengan niat kita nak masuk tu orang kampung tahu ha, apa tujuan masuk sana Sa tadi satu band sudah masuk mm -hmm. sampai pukul 6 tak keluar lagi apa jadi orang kampung pun risau juga dan satu... jika lah tak faham mengapa dia susah nak cari dia ha, keluar kan tanya. itulah maksud saya tadi kita kena bagi bagi tahu dekat orang kampung dulu so the key point here is nature is the creation of god and we must enter with respect we cannot go in thinking that we own it and not tell the locals and the natives our intention and why we're going in to just invade nature is not good 
and things could happen. And if you don't tell them what your intention is, you could get lost. <laughs>
it is basically the fear of the unknown. Mm -hmm. now, some people are, are terrified of the dark, mm -hmm. of water, of insects, or, or whatever they are not sure of. In, in psychology term, we call it psychosomatic symptoms, where okay. you, you, you have an experience, it could be a bad experience. It is possible that you know, the nature spirits could appear in front of you as someone or say things or be in a voice that you are familiar with but it's not the person you think it is. Well, as I said earlier, you know, um, I've, I've had no personal experience but we have heard stories mm -hmm. of funny things happening to our close friends or even family members and, and whatnot. Is it possible? I do not know. Only the Creator will know, mm -hmm. you know, in what form they will mm -hmm. come and, and how they will, they will choose to mm -hmm. exist in front of mm -hmm. us. Uh, but by saying that as well, you know, uh, I think the mind plays tricks on us, especially after watching a horror movie. Even at home, in the safety of your house, in the city, you'll be scared, you'll be terrified of going into the toilet because in the movie, a hand or a head was in the toilet bowl. So you agree that fear is a mental manifestation? Oh, it is. Based definitely. on past experiences, whether real or not? Yes. Would we therefore say, the power in understanding nature and its nature spirits is by um, what we do, which is providing information for the mind to process so that the element of fear is removed. Correct. As I said as well, uh, the majority of the time when, when people say they see something or they hear something you know, in the forest or in the jungle, and when we actually go to that spot, it's actually a shadow. They're actually scaring themselves. Most of the time. Maybe even slightly melodramatic. Maybe, well, <laughs> I, we don't know. You know, it's their experience. Exactly. We, we facilitate the training. Correct, yeah. correct. And we don't judge. Yeah, we don't. We don't because who are we to judge what happens in nature and who are we to judge whether it's real or not? stop in the forest where the crew will be watching is that right yes <laughs> and then uh, I will go up a little bit deeper in there do the hot spot all right so set up here for us here sounds unique sounds different don't know what to care. We are now going to the hot spot. Let's go. Your location. I'm sitting alone in the forest and um, the crew is somewhere else together in a group and I kind of like this night vision camera because I look unusual There's a really funny sound going on It sounds like an electronic gadget, but it's very, very low tone. You heard it? Yeah. The sound is coming behind the camera. You see, I can't point my camera straight because the uh, infrared or something blocks my sight. Oh, okay. It's now 12.30 and it is a full moon and I'm sitting here still alone in the forest. I hear 
new sounds, unique sounds, different sounds, but I don't know if the camera picks it up. Something moving. At my back. Yes. Yeah, it was moving itself. So. Record other. Now you can record the environment. I did. Better get her out of the place. Oops. Oh my god, I'm getting cherry eyes. Yeah. I think it's enough. We got what we want. You sit there, we we'll come and get you. Okay. Wow, let there be light. Some of the words they use to describe nature, you hear words like peaceful, serene, calm. Okay, once in a while you have creepy, dark and cold. Then you have people who describe city as sometimes disturbing, stressful, restless, busy, noisy. And it's just complete opposites. And it is no wonder sometimes why corporations take their people to, to have activities and events back to nature in the forest. So what I would like to share with you is how restless I was to the point that my restlessness did not calm anything and, and for over an hour nothing happened. There was no connection. So then my director walkie talkies me and he says, Lee Kim, calm down and get connected. And that's when I said, okay, I put down my camera, I switched it off, I put it down, and I said, let's get connected. And I, even then, it was, it was not easy, but then I focused on what Inchek Zainal and, and Pak Tay said about niyat, motivation, intention, and I started to speak to nature from my heart. I calmed down and, and yeah, that's what I did. I started to talk and I said, I'm here to do this episode on nature spirits and I really want to have an eventful and, 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 and a thrilling episode and I said, will you please help me? Will you please help me make this episode a success? And suddenly, the energies of nature revealed itself as you have seen. There were shadows, there was billowing white rays. It was amazing. Getting connected to nature it's all about being calm, clear, with good motivation. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to nature spirits. And like they always say, and like what I always say, what you see may not be real, and what is real you may not see. And on that note, I'm going to say good night.